One bazillion years ago, a little organism turned into a fish. It crawled onto land. It became a monkey. That monkey banged five sticks together and created electronic arts. Ten years after that, Papa Meeks was born. Oh my god, he's so handsome, they said. True. 25 years after that, I sit in this chair to compete for the national championship. Gentlemen, we are one game away from the national championship in our first round of the playoffs. A slow, defensive, arduous game, but we came out on top. In our second round, a cheesy two clock spammer learns why doctors hate this one play. RPO peaks on bubble. And in game three, well, that story is yet to be written because that's today. This is the college football set semi-final. So if we win here, we make the national championship, we'll compete, and most importantly, we'll get another prestige player, which is huge. But we gotta make it. Last game, we did put together a good game. So I, I'm feeling good going into this game. The only problem is, honestly, I've been really struggling at my wheel spins. All I've wanted is like a left guard, maybe like a god squad running back or quarterback, and potentially another corner, and they're just not falling in place. So hopefully they can fall in place today. This would be the perfect time, frankly. This would be the perfect time to bring it all together. Gentlemen, it's the playoffs we got two wheel spins to build this team i am laser focused on a left guard if not i'll take a corner but if i get any form of jackpot bro i am taking a guard i want it oh oh ah i'm not gonna lie a lot of guards are not six five a lot of guards are like six three tackles are like six seven actually let me see if i'm just talking out of my ass preston wilson how tall are you this is our 89 right guard he's six four i'm telling you guards are usually smaller they gotta be more agile tackles are just monster human. Okay, so we can get any single player in the game, but they gotta be six foot five or taller. Okay, there's a West Virginia left guard, Thomas Rimmick. Ooh, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. Six foot six, three eighteen. All right, we already have eight. I am taking him. 90 left guard. I've wanted it so bad for so long, and I finally got him. A 90 overall West Virginia Mountaineer is our brand new left guard. This might take my team to an 89 overall. We've been wanting this position for a long time. It does. My team is an 89 now. Wait, we gotta go see him in the lineup. Dude, you cannot tell me that's not a beautiful offensive line. 90, 89, 90, 89, and an 87 at left tackle. That's a hell of a wheel spin. Honestly, on this next wheel spin, I couldn't even tell you, boys. I'll take the corner. I'll take something. Let's see what the... This has... There's literally so much we can do with this. Okay, so plus two to one position means you replace the current player with a player that is two overalls higher. So for example, we could replace Trey Harris with a 92 overall. I just don't think that's the right call. I don't think we need to do that. What overall is Mark... Ooh. I think we plus two... I don't know how you say this guy's name, but I think we go plus two on him and we get a 91 corner because he's at corner three. This is kind of a finesse because he's technically a free safety, right? Ooh, you know what actually we do? We should plus two him and then move Devin Neal to corner corner three and then we get a 91 free safety okay so marquez is an 89 free safety which means we could get a 91 free safety i'm gonna put my 91 free safety in at free safety and i'll move devin neal down to corner three i assume there's a 91 free safety though we kind of gotta hope that that exists oh no there's not a 91 free safety damn we're actually kind of limited here all right the feds might come after me for this one but i'm gonna go jabbar muhammad so i'm going plus two at the secondary position i i am kind of cheating here but so marquez sigel is corner three and he's an 89 overall, so I'm replacing him with Jabbar Muhammad. Just shut up and watch the video. Shut up and dribble. Oh, I'm uncontent monkey, right? You're a viewer monkey. MMG posted. Uh, let me get my dinner out. Let me... Uh, oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, perfect timing. I'm about to eat dinner. Uh, ball... Ballhawk Tua? Ah! I ain't even gonna lie, though. This guy's a dog. 91 speed, 90 XL, 89 agility. I mean, yeah, he's a little short, but frankly, that doesn't really matter in this game. You don't really head top people very often. The height thing is whatever. Okay, Marquez is out. Jabbar Muhammad is in, and he's boosted to a 92, so this guy's a furry. For 2 AP, I gave him Ballhawk. Um, so I either run Ballhawk on him or Will Johnson. I'm gonna put on Jabbar Muhammad. I'm gonna try that out. All right, these are some huge upgrades. I finally got a monster left guard that I've been working for, and I got a god squad defense player Jabbar Muhammad out of Oregon. Dude, we are representing so many college football programs on this team. We don't have very many dupes. In fact, the only dupe we have is Ole Miss in its Ole Miss season. The playoffs challenge wheel, gentlemen. We knocked it out last time. We knocked it out last week, so why not again? 18 carries running back. Oh, I guess I get redemption, right? It was only just a few games ago that I had this same challenge, and I had 16 carries. 
The only problem with this challenge is you kind of stunt your ability to drop the 40 bomb. So I am going to do the carries, but I think I'll probably do them all in chew clock. The way I see it, the quicker I move the ball, the less time I have to think. The more that I think, the more bad things happen, okay? Never once in my life has thinking with my brain ever been a good idea, ever. Jabbar Muhammad, Walter Nolan, Travis Hunter, the Mommy Pounders, taking on the Street Sweepers. It's an Ole Miss mirror matchup. What do you want to do, Trav? What do you want to do, Trav? <laughs> what am I doing? Why did I do that? I said that if I don't think, good things will happen. Let's see if that's true. Because that was a brain dead kick return on the playoffs. Actually brain dead. Why did I do that? We need 18 carries. We got 98 yards to go. My Road to Glory halfback says this is music to his ears. Inside zone. Bijan. Bijan. Oh, mega joke. Bijan. Bijan, you have that bitch. 98 yards to the house. They called me a bad man. I'm going to pitch it. I'm going to fucking pitch it. I quieted the voice. Two-point conversion. Holloman in the middle. Jameis. Oh. That was actually very good defense. I'm not gonna lie, I've been struggling with two-point conversions recently. I will say though, we need 18 carries and um, Bijan's got one for 98 yards right now. All right, Cam Ward in the backfield. We got bunch left. What are we looking for, Rebels? He's got a drag over the middle. He's no way he's gonna try and hit that. Good pocket presence. And he tries to hit this. Oh my God, I bust. Oh my God, look at what I did to Tito. I actually knocked his lights loose. Oh my God, I'm not getting monetized. He's gonna check down. Oh, 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 get that ball! Oh, third and 10. Oh, 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 Makai! Damn, I can't believe he caught that. Dude, Makai and Travis Hunter on him. He comes down with that. All right, let's send a little sauce. Wade Wooders and Makai will sit here and wait. Oh, I dare you. I dare you. Bop, bop, bop. Shit. Shit, gotta take a good angle. I think I'm being a little cocky. His offense is actually quite nice. Jabbar Muhammad, first and 10. This looks like a run. It's not. Check down, where is it? Oh, second and four. Oh, good play. Restrepo goes down on the four yard line and he's gonna go no huddle. I'm shocked by this. I think you would run the ball if you're no huddling here. So I'm bringing Devin Neal over. No. Another check down, but we're there! Travis Hunter is wear and tear? Who wants to tell me why Travis Hunter is yellow wear and tear right now? So annoying. Maybe an RPO. It's a great op opportunity for an RPO for him, I think. I'm gonna sink over. It's... Dude. I'm a fucking prophet, but it doesn't matter because those plays are so broken. So broken. Yeah, we got a game on our hands, gentlemen. Well, he has not seen anything out of my offense yet. He's seen Bijan take one to the house. That's it. Bryson Nesbitt will take six, brother. How bad do we want it, gentlemen? How bad do we want it? There's two carries with Bijan. Remember, that's 18 between two running backs, though. So it does not need to be 18 carries to Bijan. Just needs to be 18 carries, and his user cannot figure this out. He really thinks I'm passing still. And now we pass. Savion Williams is wide open. Just got to wait. One, two. Oh, wow. He guarded it. Nice work by his user. I'm going to go down with Bijan because Bijan's going to get lit up today. He's going to carry the ball so many times. Oh, no. I have to throw that. That's too. It's way too there. Wow. That's good. Peak zone bubble is actually making a comeback in the playbook. That feels feels incredible. Wow. The challenge does say 18 carries running back, so I don't think my Jameis carries should count. But I tell you what, this is a very hard challenge. Second and six. Bijan up the middle. Mm. Breaks that tackle. Four carries. 123 yards. Let's see if he overcommits and I can cut it back. What the fuck, Jameis? Move! I still got six yards. Their run game is lethal right now. Deuce close stretch. Very nice play, especially if they don't have a good user. The user is very important on this play. But like I said, it's just not as good as it used to be. Third and five, I'm going up the gut. This is super risky. Oh my God. We're fucking dogging him right now. I'm going up the gut again. First and 10, no huddle. There's the snap. We'll bring it left side. He dives early. He dies early again. What's going on? What are they doing out here? I really could chew this clock, but I'm not going to. I think it's so bitch made. The guy did it to me last week. I ain't doing it today. We're going to edge with Justice Ellison, faking the switch sides. He takes a good angle. This guy is having the classic issue where you switch on, and every time you switch on and hit X, the game has no idea where to put you. Second and goal. Bijan up the middle. Mm. Do you see exactly what I mean? He's switching on and hitting X and going that way. A scramble. Oh, keep going. Keep going, Nesbitt. Keep going! 14 to 7. Famous Jameis. Another RPO. 
good hits. We gotta we gotta punish him for running RPOs. You cannot let people run on RPOs uncontested. Check down again, third and three. Clock is ticking. He's gotta snap this. I was almost in the neutral zone there. Oh my god, and he sailed it. Cam, oh my god, you're not going for this. What are you doing? Oh, this is ball game. He doesn't get this. Fourth and three. Does he got what it takes? Does he got what it takes? Oh my God, why are you so open? He's got what it takes. 23 seconds left, three timeouts. He's not using his timeout. I can't believe that either. Does he check down halfback here? He does. Wow. The prophet speaks again. I think I blitzed off that side. That's why I didn't have anyone for that. 14 to seven, I have to keep him out of the end zone. This is so bad he scores. I'm expecting an angle route. No, it's just another check down. Nice. We just want a deep coverage. I just can't let him do a corner route to his tight end. He wants a corner route with his tight end. He's putting a couple hot routes on Williams here. He's going to have the same corner route on the tight end. There's the tight end. Oh my God, that was nasty. I couldn't cover both. Get a corner route and a post and the post down the middle was golden. Scores of four seconds left. That's huge. He gets the ball at half too. Um, I will try to take this out. I think it's my best, my best odds to score here. And I'm gonna hand this ball off to get an extra carry for our challenge. I actually don't want Bijan to get hurt here, so I'll probably just take this down. Oh. All right, we got six carries of Bijan. We got another four or five with Justice Ellison, so we are on pace. We just gotta keep it up. I said, you know, it's funny too. Right before the half, I said I could chew clock and be a dick, and I chose not to. But I'd rather, I'd rather win like a champion than be a gigantic pussy. I also think that he is going to make a mistake. He just hasn't yet. I absolutely think he's gonna make a mistake. Yes, a good start. Second and 12, James Pierce Jr. Cam Ward's a little wear and tear now. I'm a little behind the tight end. Goes running back, big hit, Will Johnson. I fucking love Will Johnson. That is one hell of a corner. Third and two, it's an RPO. It's manned up and it's back. Fourth and one. I don't think he runs it again. Oh, Jabbar Muhammad, that's my ball. He tries to hand it off. We blitz up the middle with Jabbar Muhammad. And that was a monster play. Heater. First and 10, I tell you what, his user all day long has struggled with the run. And today's no different. What is going on over there? Bijan Robinson, three touchdowns, seven rushes, 163 yards. Get this man the game ball. Holy shit, Bijan's out of his mind right now. That was absolutely the biggest play of the game. Jabbar Muhammad, the fourth and one stop, and he can't stop the run. Two things are now true, gentlemen. Number one, we're in the driver's seat, but number two, it's 40 bombable. But none of that matters if I can't win the game, so let's hang on to it. Escape route, low? Honestly, good. Keep the clock running. Second and eight, he knows I'm in zone. He might look for a seam beater Restrepo. No. Sean Dolich on the deep one. I don't know what he thought he was throwing there. I've got a user. I've got a user on the running back. Running backs killed me all day long. So I gotta have him. Get home! Will Johnson and LaMiles Brooks up high. Wait a minute, is he gonna try that post combo again? Stock? Really? I don't know what he's looking for. Running back. That is one sketchy ball, buddy. I cannot believe he elected to throw that. Dude, look at this. Look at the team offenses. He's got 170 passing yards, negative two rushing. I've got almost 200 rushing and no passing yards. You know what's really ironic about the way we play this too? Is like, we loaded up on all those God tier. I can get inside the user here. We loaded up on all these God tier running backs, but frankly, they're also super good downfield blockers. Like every single wide receiver I have is almost always bigger than the person they're guarding, you know? Come on, Bijan! He's just raw dogging everyone. Famous, Jameis. I try to step up and get it, but frankly, this is the smart play to just take this field goal. 21 to 14. Zane Gonzalez. Oh my God, why did it just feel like adjusted? Oh my God, and I doinked! Dude, go watch that back. Please watch that back. I had the accuracy, and right as I snapped it, it just it yanked itself to the left. Is that like part of the mechanic? That's unbelievable, bro. Zane Gonzalez is such a good kicker in this game, too. That's some horse shit. I would love to know what just happened there. Oh my God. <laughs> the ball never lies. I've never seen it lie once. Makai Gayer. I'm so much gayer than you, buddy. Oh no, he knows what I'm doing. <laughs> I gotta hand this off. Ah, oh, just a classic peak zone bubble. Second and two, I'm doing it again. Oh my God. Did I get his ass? 
motion double pass is carrying this whole damn season. This game was 14 of 14, and he started with the ball at half. Take me home, Ole Miss. Take me home. First and 10. Oh. I got to get the ball back so I can hand it off a few times. I do not have the rushes yet. 28 to 14. He really likes levels. Favorite play for sure. Threw past the line of scrimmage, and he actually threw a laser. Third and six. Ball game's over. It might even be a rage quit if we get this. Jabbar Muhammad blitz. He knew. Oh my god, not again, right? Can we stop him with Jabbar Muhammad again? He's gonna run it. You know he's gonna. <gasps> Jabbar Muhammad! Jabbar Muhammad is Ed Reed and Palomalu in one. Talk about a huge pickup. This dude has made two diving TFLs on fourth and inches. And, and... Oh, it's frozen. Yeah, he dashboarded. Another day, another dub, gentlemen. We have made the national championship. It was certainly a very late rage quit, but a rage quit nonetheless. One spin on the rage quit wheel. Let's see what we can add to this team. What do you got, baby? A training pack? Maybe. I'll take a training pack. Oh my God, and we have the challenge wheel. Damn, a rage quit and the challenge wheel with that many carries for the running back is crazy. All right, one legends training pack. If it just wants to mess around, give us an absolute heater. I guess that has use on this team. A depth, I mean, Braylon Edwards is good. We just have so many good wide receivers. He'll he'll be, he's 6'3". All we have are monsters. There's no DeAnthony Thomases on this team. Not only that, but we got the challenge wheel. So I'm gonna open the senior pack again. Team is nasty and we're about to head into national championship. So, oh my God, what did I just pull? Season two, big boy. Uh, I don't think he's better than Makai Gayer, but I do like having the boss. Kenneth Walker. All right, he's, I like him better than Justice Allison and because it's Kenneth Walker, right? Damn. Kobe King, Ross James, Spencer Fano. This pack's cracked. Hardly use any of them. That's a crazy pack. The punter's actually an upgrade. Atticus, hey, also we need to prestige a player. We need to prestige a player for next episode. Kenneth Walker is going in the lineup for sure. I'm putting him in for Justice Ellis. Jabbar Muhammad, player of the game, by the way. Absolutely. Sorry, Justice Ellis. Listen, I love you, man. But you ain't you ain't no canine. And yeah, I mean, Braylon Edwards gets wide receiver four now. And Jeremiah Smith gets wide receiver five. We do have the depth headed into the natty. I am so excited. And we get to prestige one more player. I don't know who it would be right now. So we've already prestiged T-Mac. We've prestiged Travis Hunter, Will Johnson. Dude, Walter Nolan. Walter Nolan actually would be a really good prestige. And he would remind us of Ole Miss season. I would love to prestige a linebacker. But I don't know that any of these guys are worth it. It's hard to say. All right, gentlemen. Hell of a game. I love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.